Margot Hudson is a, the, once in a while you get to do something because you just want to talk to somebody who you know and it's a friend. Margot Hudson is with us because um, I go to the, uh, the the President's Club or whatever they call it now. It got, and the, for United Art, the airline, before that it was Continental Airlines and all that. And this lady was always working there. You were going around cleaning up everywhere. You were the one, one of the people who works there that takes care of that club, that lounge for people that are frustrated passengers who are probably a pain in the ass a lot of the time trying to get in and out of there. And she's always got a great temper about her. She's always in a friendly mood. She has she's a just, temper. She's just wow. a bad temper. Uh, <laughs> she's always in a great mood. I don't know how you do it. I would think it would drive me up over a wall after a while. No, it's just fun. I love it? it. I love my job. I love the customers that come in and out. Yeah. I, you know, I know them on a regular basis. Yes, you do. A lot of them by name. Now, yes. when you first when you first met John, did you <laughs> recognize him, or did he come up to you and say, "I want you to know I'm John Lanigan"? <laughs> well, I recognize John because I listened to uh, 105.7. Okay. And I love the music. Okay. Trying to make me look bad, right? No, no, yeah. I'm trying to get um, gather John knowledge. Lanigan. I'm trying to gather, <laughs> She's not gonna gather say knowledge. knowledge. <laughs> she not only knows me, she knows Sandy. She knows the dogs. Absolutely. She knows Absolutely. the dogs better than anybody, I think. Well, most people go into the club. I, they're not frustrated or angry. Yeah. I like going in there because it's a nice it's, respite. It's an escape from the rest of it when flights are canceled and there's delays and all that. But the reason we're here, there was an article written in Cleveland Magazine a short time back. Now, you came here from Chicago, is that right? Absolutely. After Chicago, Illinois. Tough life and all that. And you ended up here and you're working in the club uh, as basically a, a housekeeper. That's what you were doing in that club is taking care of everything and making sure everything was picked up when you left and so on and so forth. And you'd always want to try to get a better job, and you'd worked as hard as you could, and you needed to get, you didn't have a high school degree. Correct. So you got your GED. Yes. Which was a lot of work. A lot of hard work. How did you do it? Well, I, um, when I first started at the airport, um, I was cleaning the, the Continental Plains, which was Continental. Yeah. And, uh, I, you know, I did it for about a year or so. And, you know, I did, I uh, realized that was something that I didn't want to do the rest of my life. <laughs> And um, I had the perfect schedule. I, you know, was um, working from 1 to 8.30, so I was like, okay, it's time to go back to school. So um, with that, I, you know, uh, called first call for help, and um, Christina Lee told me about Seeds of Literacy. Now, Seeds of Literacy is an organization that you got a f*** with that helped you get your GED. Correct. Is this open to anybody? Is Seeds of Literacy something that anybody that needs to get the... I mean, Jimmy does education for kids all the time, trying to get them their colleges going. Uh, the high school step was a tough one before that, though. So Seeds of Literacy... <laughs> Our lights just went out here. <laughs> And we're still we're still okay. Yeah. Well, we we're still on the air. Okay. Yeah, we're still on the air. But normally, we just, our we just can't see. There they are. They, they came anyway, back. you got seeds of literacy at, to you got you con got oh, in contact with them and they helped you. Correct. Um, seeds of literacy. You have to be at least eighteen to go there. So eighteen, twenty, twenty-five, fifty, fifty-five. You know, broad age. Right. You were forty-five. Forty-five. Correct. When, when you did this all. Yes. And you got your GED. Yay. How hard was that? Um, it was pretty hard, but um, this is something I really wanted to do for myself. And um, before I came to Seeds of Literacy, um, I had gone to um, various GED programs. Yeah, and didn't get there. And, and didn't get there. Yeah, but Again, they were able to get you over the hump there. So absolutely, oh, yes. it was one-on-one -on -one tutoring, and um, you know that's something, I, and I think. I, I, I th we all take it for granted, probably. Yeah, I was able to go through school and get it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So to, to me, it's just so it was just so natural. The people, the frustration for people who have that that problem, it's got to be overwhelming. And you, going from trying to hide it sometimes to, but now you've you've overcome it, so you got to be proud. I'm I'm very proud. Yeah. Um, as I, you should be. And you were without a doubt in that in that club one of the most loved people there. And everybody was rooting for you and was happy to see this happen. When Cleveland Magazine decided to write this article, it's a full page write up. Uh, they were very. It's Connie Schultz, we should mention. Who, yeah, who wrote and this. Connie Schultz wrote the article about you. I mean, you got a Pulitzer Prize winner writing about you. That in itself is pretty nice. But you got it done. You accomplished your goal. You finally got where you wanted to be. And now anything is possible. Now people are beginning to understand how you did it and what you did. And now you're saying, maybe I can do something besides what I'm doing now. That is correct. You want to be a gate agent. Well, I thought I wanted to be a gate agent. Change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Until the last announcement. Uh-huh. Until the last announcement? 
Well, if they would take me on, I would, I would, would go for it. I would okay. do it. Yeah. So what did you do for the 45 years of, of not being able to? I mean, were you able to read some? or? Well, I was able to read, write. Um, I just didn't have that GD. Um, I went to um, different job corps, and they offered the GD program, but I was just so happy that I took my uh, nursing certificate, you know, home health aid. I was so happy to graduate with that. They found me a job, and uh, it was like... Okay, I don't need my GED. Little did I know. Yeah. But you did try for jobs where you couldn't get them because you didn't have it. I mean, that's part of it. You've got to find some way to get to that point in life, and you got there. You're married. Absolutely, yes. For a long time. Um, yes. Quite okay. a, anyway, quite a while. Okay, quite a while. She had the um, same reaction that Sandy yeah. has when people tell yes, her, you're married. The same thing. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> now that she's educated, <laughs> she's gone. Now you, yeah. I knew now. now. See what you've done to me and Sandy now? <laughs> Thanks, Margo. Now, Mar- we're talking to Margo Hudson here, and there was a nice article about her uh, in uh, Cleveland Magazine. But when for, for kids today, because I'm in the high schools a lot, and I see kids, and I meet kids who drop out. A school and think it's not going to matter or they'll be able to come back easy, you know, and it's, it's, so you're, what you're saying is how tough it is to overcome this sometimes. It's, it's very tough. Um, again, you know, if you have a family, I mean, I don't have children, uh, but, you know, working all, you know, working, uh, all evening and, you know, I, I went to school in the morning, I was able to go to work in the, um, even so, I mean that was a full day for me. I would leave home right. like eight thirty, and I didn't get back the home bus. To nine o'clock at night. And again, I did ride the bus. You rode the bus. It's interesting when you got a GED, you were riding the bus yes. when they called you. Yes, I was on the train. Yes. Okay, you're on the train, and your phone rings, and it's who? It's uh, mm-hmm. Chris from Seeds of Literacy. Tell me that he had good news for me that I had passed my GED, and that was just like, wow. Yeah. That had you had you tried day. before? Taking a test? Yeah. Well, I had tried. I had took the test several times, but I had never given up. Yes, I was discouraged, but I was determined that I was going to get this GED. So what put you over the hump then? What finally made you pass? Well, I had lagged points in science and social studies, and the tutor I was working with told me I was, like, really good with biology. And uh, when I got that science test, it was like, 95% 95% of it was biology. So yeah, that I, helped, I, I, huh? I'm saying, I, we probably couldn't pass it right now if you See, put that's it in front exactly of us. what I was yeah, thinking. Right. If you made us go through a GED right now, most of us probably fail here. But they call you on the on the train as you're coming into work and tell you you passed it. And when you got to the United Club, what did they do? Oh, I, you know, I told everybody they were so happy for me because... All the agents in the United Club, my co-workers, they were very supportive. They got you a cake, too. They bought me a cake. They had a party for me. So um, customers sent me flowers. and uh, That's it was terrific. Just, uh, That's nice. I That's like terrific. what you said, too. You said once you got that... How they just, it just increased your whole desire to learn, and I you keep doing a whole lot of other stuff oh, as well. Oh, yes. My uh, world just opened up. It's like, you know, where have I been all my life? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you were always there all your life. You just found a way to give yourself confidence. So you gave yourself a lot more confidence. You feel other better people, about yourself oh, now. I, I feel <laughs> wonderful about myself. Other people felt great about you anyway, but this is good to see you feel good oh, I about yourself. so much better. Because she does know. I mean, the, 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 the United Club or Continental, uh, the people that flew were people that are part of the community, and I met all kinds of friends. Um, I'd see Sherrod in there, uh, Brown, who comes through, the congressman. And, and we've talked to each other a number of times. And other people, she took me over to meet some friends from uh, Putin, Putin Bay when I was there the last time that I, that I knew. And, and she knows everybody there, um, the, the ones that have the winery at Putin Bay mm-hmm. that she took me over to see. Um, They're so, about to make it a little tougher for these for the people. The, the fees went up quite a bit this year. For, for what? The, for the GED test. It went from 40 bucks to 120 bucks. Oh, I really? thought you meant for the club. Yeah. I was afraid of that. <laughs> afraid of that. I'm no, afraid. that's that's a big I mean for somebody who's probably already struggling, you know, because they don't have the job they want. Uh, the, the difference between 40 bucks for a GD t- and 120 that's, that's a big difference. Yeah, that's that huge. is. Yeah. Huge. Well, we're just really glad you got it yeah. done. And I know you and have for a long time. And I was delighted when I saw the whole thing. She sent me the, the story as soon as it came out. And I, you know, I think I was out of town. I was gone at the time. But it was in the Cleveland um, um, Magazine. And Connie Schultz is a good friend of ours, too. So I was delighted to see the whole thing come down. And Seeds of Literacy is a great organization. How do people get in touch with it if they want to get in touch with Seeds of Literacy? How did you do it? Well, I called First Call for help. And they gave me, you know, I asked them if they had a, a, a GED program in my area. Yeah, <clears throat> and they gave me um, at that time they had more sites that were open, and I the first site I went to was um, Church Annunciation on West 130th. Okay, 
and they only had class one day a week, so I was doing really good with my studies. So I, you know, started going to one of the other sites, and then we ended up at uh, West Twenty Fifth off Clark. Okay, That's so if, you, if you're if you're thinking about this and you want to do it and make yourself feel as great as it's, it's helped her, this is a great way to do it. I bet you, you may want to tell President Obama about that. He was having trouble with respect Spelling. the other day. Yeah. <laughs> Here and uh, yeah. here is how you spell respect. <laughs> so actually, to see if she's really done that well, the spell respect. Uh, no, no, don't put on spell. Just be careful. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm yeah, kidding. You don't have to spell respect. All right, I'm not going to make you do that. Uh, anyway, uh, you're off today. You don't have to work today, but you'll be back there. I wish you well in whatever you decide to do. Thank you so much. You're still there, right? Oh, yes. I'm, yeah. I'm still at the club. And, you better be you know, still there. I always look for you when I come in there. If you're not there, I feel bad. But I'm on there a lot of times in days you're off. Yes. So, and they but. always tell me that when, you know, John Lennon came in, I'm like, <laughs> okay. Asked about you. Yeah. Uh, you don't schedule your days off around him, do you? Uh, no. Okay. All right. <laughs> Anyway, congratulations on what you've accomplished. Thank you so much. We're proud of you. And, again, I just have more self-confidence than I ever had. Again, it's because of Caesar Literacy and, you know, give me that opportunity to uh, get that GED. Well, folks, if you need that, listen to her. She tells it like it is. She's gone through a lot to and get I'll, where she is, and they helped. Huh? And I'll, now I give back. I, I go down there two days a week. And Do you? Help You're a out. tutor. I'm a tutor now. You're a tutor now. I love awesome. it. I just Here's, somebody, it really Here's cool. somebody who didn't even have her degree or got GED, and now she's back as a tutor at Seeds of Literacy. And you can speak from experience telling people and giving them hope. I did it. You can do it. So that's yeah, oh, really yes. cool. Those are the best tutors of all. Yes, yeah. Someone absolutely. who's been there. Been there, done that. Thanks. You're welcome. It's great to have you here, huh? A pleasure. Okay. Anytime.